Hello and welcome back to Context, the podcast where I just fill you in on some context to my life. My name is Eliyahu Lev, my pronouns are they, them, and he, him. And before we jump into today's episode, I just want to give some updates because this episode and the previous episode were recorded on the same day in March of 2023. It is currently June 14th, 2023, when I am right here right now recording this intro to the episode. Um, Since March, there have been some things that have happened in my life, like I graduated college, um, and that's a really big accomplishment. And so I have been taking it easy, celebrating, you know, everybody always asks, what's next? What's next? Um, Right here, right now, what's next is I'm taking care of myself, I am resting, I am healing, and I am planning for the next few months and moving out of my current lease and figuring out some work alongside the business that I do, alongside this podcast, alongside being a meditation teacher and healer on Insight Timer. So that's what's next. So I want to just say thank you to all my friends and family and loved ones who have supported me through my journey of undergraduate college. It was not an easy one. Um, And it is kind of shocking to say that I have a BFA in musical theater. And I only say kind of shocking because it's the fact that it's done and the fact that I'm no longer a student and I am just an adult living in the world, existing, having free will. I mean, we, I've always had free will, but, um, something else is I am a year on testosterone. Whoop, whoop. Um, so I, I mean, you might hear that my voice is lower than in previous episodes, especially. I don't I don't know how much it has dropped since March from when I filmed um, the rest of this episode, but um, you might hear a difference in my voice. So that is why, and I'm so grateful to have access to healthcare um, and gender-affirming healthcare because that is not um, accessible to everybody, especially within the United States right now. So I'm very grateful to be living in a state that can accommodate me and, um, and that I have insurance to cover most of, um, appointments and medication and stuff. So I just wanted to shout that out that I'm really proud of myself for being here. I remember it took me a while to decide that I wanted to go on testosterone and here I am a whole year later and I love myself and feel more authentic in my skin than ever before. Um, so that's very exciting, but that's, that's really all I wanted to say. Just wanted to introduce this episode as I, um, the previous episode, episode seven, I talked about, you know, different like channeling work and synchronicities. I dive deeper into synchronicities from my personal life. I show stuff from my camera roll, um, just like numbers and angel numbers and stuff that are synchronicity. So if that's, if that interests you, keep listening. And if not, I plan to have more episodes within the month of July, hopefully is my goal to get a Q and a that I recorded on insight timer last month. I recorded more Q and a, and I actually talk about the effects of testosterone. And I think I'll do, honestly, I think I might for the next episode, talk about my one year and the changes that I've noticed and, and how it's affected me. Um, but first I'll paste some questions that I got about it. Um, so that's for, that's for me to figure out. So please enjoy the rest of this episode. It is, I recorded it later in the evening because I, you'll see, I explain it, but, um, please enjoy. And thank you so much for listening. So earlier when I recorded, I remember I for, I like wrote something down that I wanted to specifically share a synchronicity with unicorns and, um, also with like ravens and a crows and um I just saw a crow today now I'm rem- I'm literally remembering this now like I I'm mentioning crows now synchronicity between them but I am today have had two other synchronicities with crows that I'm just putting together right now like in live time this is like I'm catching a live like reaction of me putting some signs that I've been seeing together I guess um I feel like something I talked about in the last episode with channeling is when you channel messages, when you channel signs, sometimes you have a delayed reaction in like it making sense. But if you're just aware of 
your surroundings, if you're really focusing on being present and finding joy in life and like putting your authentic truth forward, like really living in, in like union with your intuition and with your higher self when you've healed through a lot of these wounds and I say wounds loosely, they don't actually have to be physical wounds. Like I'm talking more like energetic, emotional, um, events that have happened to block us from accessing our intuition, from accessing this connection to the higher self. Um, whether that's the media we watch, whether that's the people we surround ourselves with, whether that's our work living situation, anything, any, there are many different ways to be surrounded by different blocks. But anyway, the synchronicity I actually want to talk about that I didn't necessarily, I forgot when I was recording earlier, but I remember now because I have it written on my whiteboard. Um, I talked about this whiteboard in a past episode like this is the same whiteboard that I would have affirmations written down on um I have since erased those affirmations because I felt like I wanted to write new ones I have been writing new affirmations for myself and I'm still doing like my affirmation practice I speak affirmations in the morning most mornings not every morning but most mornings I open my journal I have my glass of water and I speak my affirmations into the water and I drink it with intention um But on this whiteboard, it literally says owl and unicorn blessings. And what that means, did you know, like, a group of crows is called a murder? Like, different groups of animals, like a herd of them, like, they're called different names. And I was talking to somebody about this. And they were mentioning to me, because I said I had seen so many ravens, um... I actually, this is actually something I want to talk about in another episode, which I'll I'll write this down for myself to talk about it. If I don't write things down, it's very easy for me to forget. That's just how my brain works being neurodivergent. Like I just, it just is a thing. Um, Sometimes I need to write things down to remember them, even if they're important to me. And even if I really want to share them, I will forget to say things sometimes. Anyway, I went to Yucca Valley in California recently on my spring break and ended up going to Joshua Tree National Park. Um, And I'll talk about that in another episode. But the amount of ravens I saw, it was so such a spiritual experience because crows and ravens already have a special place in my heart as a sign, as a synchronicity from spirit. And Maybe I'll get back to that later. Um, But I was talking with somebody and they were like, oh, did you know a group of ravens has a different name than a group of crows? Because the group of crows is called a murder, but a group of ravens is called a... And then we couldn't think of it. So this person was telling me about all the different uh, groups of animals that they knew. And like we we were looking it up. A group of ravens is called an unkindness. Isn't that so interesting? Um, like a group of crows is called a murder and a group of ravens is called an unkindness. But a group of unicorns. And this is what... This person was just telling me, like, they were like, yeah, a group of this, a group of this, a group of this. Like, they're all called these. Oh, and a group of unicorns is called a blessing. And that kind of shook me by surprise that this person would just mention that to me, not knowing that unicorns are special to me and that I have this connection and that I think of unicorns as a blessing. Already, that is something that I have cultivated for myself to believe in. When I sense or see unicorns around, I feel blessed. I feel I send blessings to them. You know what I mean? Like I just talked about this earlier on in in the previous episode. A group of owls is called a parliament. Okay, so while I was looking it up, um, this article is talking about, I just think it's funny. It says, let's let's ditch the dead weight and stick to what's true. Next time somebody gives me a wink and nudge and says, did you know a group of owls is called a parliament? I'm going to respond, did you know anyone who believes that is a part of a gaggle of gullibles? <laughs> and it's talking about like the accuracy of... Why, why should we use our limited brain space on fake animal facts when there are so many interesting things that are actually true? And then they say, like, did you know that wombats 
form poop cubes. They don't form wisdoms. Um, Poop cubes. They poop literal cubes. Um, And then it says, you'll blow them away at bar trivia with that one. (laughs) Um, So that's making me laugh because I think that that's really funny. And they linked an article called The Wombat's Cubit poop is one of the nature's weirdest superpowers what the heck um i'm not gonna read that anyway apparently there's like people someone somewhere made up all these silly names for like groups of different specific animals and this is like the collective noun um that is well known I, I don't even know well known where but like uh, allegedly according to somebody somewhere um so I was having this conversation at lunch just with somebody um and <laughs> just the synchronicity of the unicorn and the blessings is something that I wanted to share um but it was inter- in- interesting to me because like no one really calls I mean I'm sure some people do but like no one really calls a uh, flock of crows a murder like allegedly it's called that um but what is this reasoning like when you google like why are crows called a murder the first thing that comes up says many view the appearance of crows as an omen of death because ravens and crows are scavengers and generally associated with dead bodies battlefields and cemeteries They're thought to circle in large numbers above sites where animals or people are expected to soon die. Like, I don't, I don't think that that, I feel like, I feel like that doesn't (laughs) make sense. Like, I feel like there's some sort of mix up in the language between it being an omen of death, because I feel like. In a lot of indigenous cultures, the raven and the crow, they're very, like, very spiritual birds. Anyway, I'm not super educated about that, so I'm not going to speak on it any more than that. But it's curious, like, when you Google it, you know. But, yeah, I just wanted to, I just wanted to like, talk about that. And I also wanted to share some synchronicities that I've, like, taken pictures of with numbers just to show y'all, like, you don't have to believe me when I'm showing you this information and like when I say showing you if you're watching the YouTube like I'm gonna edit in the picture of different synchronicities I was talking about oh I was gonna talk about the energy um last week we shifted Pluto shifted into Aquarius and it's gonna like teeter back and forth before we fully jump in um next year in 2024 to Aquarius in, in with when Pluto does um but the last time that that happened was when the French and the American Revolution were occurring in like the 1700s over 200 years ago like this it, this is a big shift happening and it's that's like not the only thing like not only has that happened but a lot of other planets are shifting and moving and we're about to go into a Mercury retrograde and there's just a lot going on energetically and I'll get into it a little bit more but I took this screenshot because I was telling somebody about the number 727 I was like talking to somebody about it and I was like yeah this number is important to me and I was like wait what time is it now and it was 743 and I took a screenshot. <laughs> the this picture that I have saved on my phone lock screen is from um the northwestern campus in um Illinois. But you can like see the skyline of Chicago from it from it. Um but anyway, it was Friday, March 24th, and then it said screen time will be limited until 744, which you have 743, 744, and 24. Um, and these were all these are all very significant numbers to me. And so I took a screenshot because I was called to take a screenshot of it just to see that. And like 23 has been a really significant number. I released this podcast 
on the 23rd of March. That was intentional. Um, not intentional with the shift of Pluto going into Aquarius, actually. that The 23rd of March was when that really happened. I The significance of three like March being three and then the 23rd of March being 23 uh, in 2023, that was significant to me when I was meditating on like when I really wanted to upload this podcast by. And that was the day that came to me in meditation. And I had been meditating on that for months. And so it was like a goal of mine for a long time to get it done by then. But I was giving myself ultimate grace just in case something comes up, life happens, you know, there would be another greater day for me to upload the podcast. But I attained that goal and so that's really exciting and I'm proud of myself but this was on March 20th at 4 21 so that's interesting now that I'm looking at that because that's you know three and twenty that's also two and three because the zero doesn't count and two and three is five so five for me is a number of significant positive change changes is happening it's positive allow it to like that's five Um, but I was doing laundry (laughs) and I didn't know, but the dryer that my laundry was in was 23, um, and four, 21, two and one is three. So it's four and three, which is seven. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but seven is also significant. We had seven, four, 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 four for me is a number of angels of guides, just a confirmation that, you know, you are divine, you are loved, um, and your guides and your spirit team is always with you. But today, today I actually had a, I, I went outside and went on a really nice walk. So I took some pictures of that. Um, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just got goosebumps. I didn't even realize this. I took a picture of the moon today. At 5, 5, 5 p.m. Wow, the first picture I took. And there's like a morning dove. It was 5 p.m., but, like, there was a dove sitting in in the tree that I took this picture of. Wow. And it's the it's the first quarter moon, so you can, like, see the moon is almost like, like one of those cookies that has, like, half chocolate frosting, half vanilla frosting, and it's, like, each half of the circle. It's, like, a cir- circular cookie. Do you know what I'm talking about? Um, but I took this picture, and it was 555, and I didn't know that until I'm looking right now back in my camera roll, which is... For me, another synchronicity. Spirit, divine, likes, like when I'm talking about this stuff on Insight Timer, my, I feel like my spirit team likes to throw more synchronicities at me when I'm like recording it, which is really interesting. Um, and that's not to say that I don't experience it a lot, just like on my own with myself. Like I'm not consciously, I'm not constantly like recording and like taking screenshots of every single synchronicity that I'm seeing, but like for some of them, they feel more significant and I'll, I'll screenshot it. Or I guess right, like right now I'm just recording, just talking and I'm noticing some significant synchronicities, but anyway, five, five, five positive change. And then the other pictures I took of the moon, cause I took one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Yeah. Not on purpose, but five. Um, they, all the other four were at five fifty six. So, but I, <laughs> there is I will say if you can shop at a different grocery store, I know not everybody has the means to shop at Whole Foods. Um, Whole Foods is also owned by Amazon. So if you have the means to shop at some, somewhere else, I'm not going to encourage you to shop at Whole Foods, but also I, I'm a hypocritical because I constantly get the Kite Hill non-dairy like plant-based alternative, like tortellini pasta. And on the pack today, it said the expiration date. It looks like it says 14 slash 14, but it's 4 slash 14. So it's 414 or 1414 with a slash in between. So it's like 1414 and like the slash could also be a one anyway. And then it says like, it's this... I like check the time on my oven and like eight one one, like just all these synchronicities. And then I was eating or so once I was aware that today, a lot of synchronicities were happening after I like 
when I sat down to record this podcast earlier, like I had already gone on the walk. I wasn't like consciously thinking about like sharing these photos, I guess. But I wanted to share the photo of the washing machine because I took a screenshot of it to share as a synchronicity with being 2-3 because it was also like right before, like I had just finalized the cover art for this podcast with my friend Nate, Nathan Maneker, who created this, the art that you see for this amazing, wonderful podcast. So shout out, huge shout out to him because are you kidding me? This is incredible art. Um, and this is like, I can talk about this another time, but it was very cool. Like what I had in my brain for the, the concept to have as, the, as this podcast's cover art image, like, yes. Anyway, I want to guess another, another synchronicity when I was uploading the fifth episode onto YouTube, it was stuck for a long time. And it says uploading 9%, one hour and 23 minutes left. And I took a picture of it because it was one hour and 23 minutes. And I was going to publish the episode at 1 a.m., 1 23 a.m. Like, I, I'll, I'll see if I can put this photo in right here. But, literally, like, I'm not making this stuff up, y'all. Um, and it was, this picture was taken at 4.02. And the next picture I have is, 421. So I'm just, I'm pointing out some synchronicities for me. Like some of you might be listening to this and being like, whoa, that's awesome. So cool. And some of you are like, you're literally just looking for these signs. You're just saying numbers, whatever. Or maybe you're having a totally different thought. Maybe you're not judging me at all anyway, or judging what I'm saying. Like if you're just listening, you know, you're just listening, you're just hanging out. But, um, yeah, I feel like some some people I will have shared stuff about angel numbers and synchronicities and they look at me and they're like, yeah, right, you're making that up. Like, I don't believe in that bullshit. So I feel like that's why I'm, this judgment is coming up. But like, I don't really care if you believe me or not. Like, it's my life. If I want to live magically, I'm going to live a magical life. Um, I also had a, I eat a lot of non-dairy things because I don't really consume dairy. I try to avoid it. It does not sit well with my body. Um... I don't know if I'm like allergic, allergic to it, but you know, there's definitely an intolerance to, to lactose, but butter on the other hand, typically fine, but everything else, dairy in it. No. Um, but I was eating a non-dairy like ice cream bar and it says best used by 24 June, 2024. And like, I took a picture of that too, because 24 has been a really significant number for me, um, for my Safta, my grandmother, the one who was married to my Saba, who shows me 27 and 727, but yeah, 43 and 42 have been really significant for me. And some of you who follow me on Insight Timer, you know that 43 has been significant because you've seen me pull it and talk, and talk about it. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I wanted to chat about and I wanted to share these pictures whether or not you invite the magic around you or not like whether or not you step into this magical magical life um and see things with like more spiritual eyes I guess like because for me a lot of my spirituality is related to my Judaism and like a lot of the magic in my life is Kabbalistic view and practice so for me, when people tell me they don't believe in the magic, I'm like, this is my faith, you know? Um, I don't really care if you believe in it or not. Like, that's your faith. You you are allowed to believe in whatever you want. It's your life. Um, so, by the way, if you're listening to this podcast right now, thank you. Like, I really, really, truly do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart that there are people listening to this podcast. Like, I don't particularly have, like, a goal for like how many people I want to reach but like I'm really grateful to have this platform and to share whatever wisdom knowledge and experience I have and and help inspire people to live in their truth and and 
speak up for themselves and advocate for themselves and feel more safe and confident in their life and invite magic in their life or not, you know, again, up to you. It's your faith. But, um, if you like this podcast, please rate it five stars on wherever you lis- listen to your podcasts. And if you can on Apple podcasts, I think that that's helpful. Um, or on Spotify, if you are listening and watching on YouTube, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like thumbs up. I don't know. What do people say? Like thumbs up, put a bell notification so you can see when I upload a new video for the podcast. Um, or just like follow the podcast on Spotify and Apple podcasts. And I think I'm also on Google podcast and I'm coming to other platforms too. I just need to like sit down and figure out how to do that. But for now, I think I'm on Spotify, Apple podcasts, YouTube, um, and Google. And Maybe I'll post this on TikTok. We'll see. But yeah, I'm trying to like limit the amount of social media I'm spending time on, but I'm really excited to continue going live on Insight Timer. And I celebrated my one year teaching on Insight Timer. So that was really exciting. I'm so grateful for the community on Insight Timer and for having such amazing, supportive people there. So Thank you to anybody here listening to this podcast who is from Insight Timer. And thank you to those listening who are interested in finding me on Insight Timer. You can find me under the name LL, spelled E-L space L. Um, Currently, that's still the name that I'm using on Insight Timer, even though in real life, um, and I prefer people to call me Eliyahu Lev. So um, yeah, that's all for this episode Thank you so much for listening. Make sure to follow this podcast and give it a five-star rating wherever it is you're listening to it or give it a thumbs up. Hit the bell notification if you're watching on YouTube. Subscribe, etc. Um, thank you so much. I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you again in the next episode. Bye. Well, I guess I won't see you, but you know what I mean. I'll, you'll hear me. You'll hear me in the next episode. <laughs> Bye.